Hello everyone, and welcome back to No One Lives Forever 2. We disrupted their plans, mostly, on them invasion, on them, um, getting set up for the invasion, but it's still going to be, still going to be happening. Unfortunately, we got captured, and we got to break out of here and get to the uh, island of Kios to stop the invasion as fast as we can. So we got to hurry. One moment. There we go. Oh, I, this works. Damn it. Okay, we gotta get as much ammo as we can. All personnel, make sure the manhandler has had ample time to warm up before operating or its contents may spontaneously reflux. Last week's incident took several days of cleanup. A service technician has been called, but please show some consideration in the meantime. And that's probably why this explains why the manhandler blew up. They didn't get it ready yet. <laughs> They're in a hurry to try to kill me. <laughs> okay. Okay, I thought I saw a suitcase up here. Yep, that's what I thought. Chaos Invasion Plan. We have completed our tactical analysis of the Chaos situation and have determined the following. Part 1. Arrival. There is only one way onto the island by sea, through a cave that climbs from a tiny beach on the western coast of the cliffs above. It's a treacherous route, but with the super soldiers advancing ahead of us, we will slice through any defenses we encounter. The super secret submarine should be able to pull right up alongside the beach for easy de disembarkation. Okay. <clears throat> we open this? No, we can't. Alright. Any optional objectives? Yep. Recover Harm's Chaos Invasion Plan and destroy the su supercomputer mainframe. Also destroy the generator and get the hell out. Okay, is there a place back here? Yes, there is. But I'm gonna head this way. I think it goes around in a circle, if I remember correctly. This door is sealed by emergency lockdown. You need to interrupt power to secure the system. Okay, so this is our way out. Check. I'm coming for you. Be the last mistake you ever make, unfortunately. This place looks familiar. We've seen it in the cutscenes. We got our handgun back. Dear Eustace, I haven't been able to reach you on the phone since yesterday afternoon, so I'm forced to write instead. I spoke with Uncle Winston today. He's feeling much better after passing the kidney stone. The doctor said it was as big as a hope diamond. I'm sure he'd appreciate a call from his favorite nephew, but I suppose that's too much to ask your mother. <coughs> so is the director's name is Eustace, huh? Dear Eustace, I ran to Shirley Pullbutter at the club last night. She had some very intriguing news about Felicia. It seems her husband, that dreadful boar from Edinburgh, hung himself in the cellar last month. Which means Felicia's single again. I know you always found her rather homely, but you haven't seen her since the 
electrolysis and dental surgery. Her sideburns are much less prominent. She can even get her mouth most of the way closed. <laughs> oh, man. Honestly, it's a wonder why he ever became a bad guy. <laughs> Okay, this goes back to the manhandler. Artificial lava. boxes again. Oh god! Okay, that was terrifying. <laughs> Toenail clippings and bandages. Okay, what's over here? Um, this is Isako's train dojo. Confidential. Director's eyes only. Revised PR plan. Print. Starting in May, we'll be running full-page ads in Criminally Monthly and Maximum Villain magazine. We've also got gunpoint interviews scheduled for several European newspapers, as well as a batch of death threats and extortion letters for the U.S. press. We'll be submitting our radio and television PR schedules separately. There's literally a villain magazine. There we go. I'll take that. Better than the taser, at least. Oh, was there something new? Okay, destroy a supercomputer mainframe. Okay. I think I can get him from here. Oh. That took way longer than it should have. Stuff. Silence SMG. Don't really doesn't really make that much of a distance since we're not gonna be stealthy. Body cavity searches are mandatory for secret base re-entry. Protective headgear must be worn at all times. Spread evil, not body odor. Antifungal foot spray will be issued next week. Non-compliance will result in immediate execution. Weapon inspection next week. Physical, fiscal year objectives. Expand secret underground lair. Overtake at least three more small countries. 50% completion of ultimate doomsday device. Plan a better company Christmas party. Kill Kate Archer. <laughs> You'll be quizzed on surveillance photos and personal profile. <laughs> Yoink. Shotgun. Nice. Confidential, director's eyes only, revised PR plan, radio. Our radio schedule is a little lighter than last year, but we got a couple of exciting events planned. First is a guest appearance we've arranged for you on the Mark Mulroy Talk Radio Show. Will you bring along a firearm to get a word in edgewise, which should be good exposure. Also, we just acquired KHRM radio station in Anaheim. The new format will be surf music with subliminal messages. <laughs> Your teacher today 
is First Class Assistant Henchman Jones. Chris today, what do you do when the automatic self-destruct system has been activated? Essay form, please. Evil dioramas due tomorrow. Homework, memorize pages 16 through 147 in your official horn manual. <laughs> hey there, Klaus. How's it going? Fine, thank you. And yourself? I'm just hunting for that spy. Don't want my pay getting docked. I should probably be helping, but I'm feeling a little unmotivated just now. Really? What's the matter? The director's motivational techniques don't really inspire me. I have some rebellious tendencies in my nature that make me become somewhat resentful when I'm threatened or demeaned. I hear ya. But sometimes you gotta swallow your pride. True, but I also think it's important to stand up for your principles. If I hunt for the spy as ordered, under threat of salary deductions, I am sending a message that punitive management practices are acceptable. I hate to break it to you, buddy, but that's the way all these villain outfits are run. Most of these guys have no prior management experience. They come from screwed up families, they didn't go to college, and they can't take criticism without flying off the handle. It's a drag, but it comes with the territory. Just because this behavior is institutionalized doesn't mean it's tolerable. You have to ask yourself, what is my goal, and how can I best accomplish it? If you're a manager and you want to get your employees to search for a renegade spy, you can either use incentive or punishment for motivation. Studies show punishment to be considerably less effective. You got a point, but around here, punishments can be permanent. Well, you must exercise judgment, of course. In this situation, the risk is purely financial, so I'm willing to chance the consequences. If it were life and death, I would probably do as I was told. At least you're prudent. You have to be. All right, buddy, I'm gonna go search. You watch your back. No need. Human resources from Associate Commander Saperstein. Henchman Frankel's bio art is beginning to affect morale. I've had two men inquiring about transfers in the three past three days. Attention, all personnel. Assault teams one through four report to the Yeah, I thought so. I thought. Wait a minute. Aren't you dead? a ton of ammo there. Ooh, hello. Explosives, all right. Yeah, as it turns out, this is all fake lava. It's not even real. <laughs> I mean, you could die if you jump in there, but, but most likely we'll drown <laughs> rather than to eat. Okay. Okay, the compass objectives are pointing over there, so we're going to head this way. Because remember, we got a whole bunch of optional objectives to do. Up oh, there's a robot. It's the original uniforms. Oh crap. There we go, electric charge. Gotcha.
the briefcase rocket launcher. <laughs> I don't believe it. I don't remember this being in No One Lives Forever 2. I know it was content in the original game, but I didn't know they actually put it in the second game. Oh shit. Alright. Okay. Now that we got points, let's put it in armor. And the next one that we're going to put in is gadgets because we're going to because we're going to have to be towards the end of the game we're going to have to be using the um I forgot what it's called. The utility launcher, that's it. I'll keep it on the electric charge just in case. Okay. Okay, well, we can still escape from the, uh... Escape right now. Damn it. Don't want them getting back up. Found a lot of facial tissue used by by someone with a nasty cold. Ew. size ball and aluminum foil. Okay. Chaos Invasion Plan Part 2. Attack. Historically, the inhabitants of Chaos have been able to rely on the overwhelming tactical advantage afforded by the island's unforgiving terrain. No conventional invasion forces ever come close to making the long treacherous climb from the shore. All the defenders have to do is pour some boiling oil down the stairwell and the assault is over. Our super soldiers will render any such tactics useless and allow us to quickly crush a organized resistance. Boiling oil? What, what do they think Kios is? Like in the middle, trapped in the Middle Ages? Alright. Supposed to be doing more damage, but these guys take an awful lot of bullets just to go down. Let me check something. No, not that. It's the amount of damage you do. I kind of need, you know. Well, I can't really go to 4,000 this late. Alright, looks like we walk back. Hang on. Okay, recover the new harm public relations plan. Recover harm's chaos invasion plan. Okay. So basically we gotta find documents. Somewhere. Volkov's back in our tail again.
acid gas grenade. Now I've yet to actually try that out, honestly. Oh, dear Eustace, please don't tell me you're slipping into another one of your reclusive phases. I can't stand you when you're emotionally unavailable. Times like these, I think I have better off getting myself a sheepdog than burying a son. Dogs are stupid and hygienic, but at least they show some appreciation. Your mother, P.S., and Phil sends her love. Jesus Christ, this woman. <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to have to explore the whole map. Because I'm not finding anything. Oh shit. I'm probably going to have to backtrack to most of the areas I've been. Oh my god, I totally missed this. Chaos Invasion Plan Part 3 Occupation Once the island has been secured, we will begin Operation Occupation Nation Emancipation Initiation. <laughs> Phase 1 starts with a thorough inventory of the island's surviving residents, followed by Phase 2, in which we sell them all to a pharmaceutical company for medical experimentation. For Phase 3, we'll issue a statement to the international press announcing the establishment of the Harm Happy Adventure Dean Park Island. Okay, recover the new Harm Public Relations Plan. Uh... Well, hopefully it's around here somewhere. <laughs> Oh boy. We'll wait for him to get closer. Come on. Didn't really do much. Found a rotten apple. Stun grenade. Oh. Confidential, director's eyes only, revised PR plan, television. Television once again forms the bedrock of our PR efforts. This coming quarter alone, we've lined up five mornings, seven prime time, and two late night interruptions of broadcasting service to deliver doomsday messages. I also think we might have finagled an appearance for you on the Tonight Show, including five full minutes for your stand up routine. Oh, there we go, we got everything. Nice. Before we continue, I think there was like a secret area or something, like a secret area somewhere that is somewhere back here. Hang on. Maybe I'm wrong. Or maybe that's like the uh, next level or something. Yeah, this just leads back here. Okay, never mind.
And Lieutenant Anders is still going. Okay. So you developed this new artificial lava? Sure did. You like it? Heck yeah. Pretty damn spiffy compared to the crap we used to. It can handle temperatures up to 343 kelvins. The previous substance deconstituted at around 313 kelvins. I take baths hotter than that. The only problem is it doesn't really look like lava. That's actually by design. Our first few prototypes were very naturalistic, but the focus group results weren't where they needed to be. So we said, hell with it. Let's just concentrate on making it look cool. What was wrong with the realistic stuff? People take reality for granted, so it's hard to impress them with your garden variety liquid magma. Why do you think we have our headquarters in underground caverns? It'd be a lot cheaper and more convenient to lease an office building, but then you get potential clients who don't think you're evil enough for the really high-profile operations. Makes a lot of sense. Take a look at the latest Criminality Monthly. They profile two evil organizations, Misery Incorporated and Fist of Injustice. If you look at their CVs... What's the CV? Curriculum Vitae? Like a resume? Anyway, Misery Inc. is a way more sophisticated outfit. Fist of Injustice is strictly third-rate. Kidnappings, extortion, the petty kind of stuff any guy with a two-car garage and a mental disorder can pull off. But they've got a much better rep in the criminal industry. No kidding. We've got more evil in our daycare center than they have in their entire organization. But they hired a top-rate design firm to help them with their lair. Is that the place that's sort of a science fiction, medieval dungeon kind of thing? That's the one. I bet it's all held together by strings and chewing gum, but it sure impresses the media. <laughs> Alright, go to sleep. Get to you in a minute. Okay. Now, if I remember this correctly, this is where we fight Dmitry Volkov. And yes, he's he's still gonna be in a wheelchair. <laughs> Okay, this isn't working so well. Okay, this is this is not working so well. <laughs> oh crap, oh crap. I don't want to. God damn it. Okay, well, that sucked. Oh no, 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 no. I meant the quick load. God damn it. Hang on. Damn it. I don't remember the boss fight going like going like this at all.
Something tells me that Volkov still isn't quite dead. Can we actually go the elevator they came out of? I'm gonna take a quick check. Nah, it's close. Oh, wait. To Associate Commander Goodmundson from Carly Isidore to De Jorge, activities coordinator, code red alert. I just got off the phone with the director's mother. She's planning a surprise visit from next week until sometime in October. Wants me to prepare the guest house for her. I offered to book her tickets for her, but she said she doesn't want to end up in Burma this time. What should I do? <laughs> okay, full health. I guess we can save the, uh, the, uh, rocket launcher ammo for the, uh, super soldiers when they come eventually. Dmitry Volkov from the director. Well, your mime solution was every bit as much of a fiasco as I predicted. Not that Isaka was any better. I'm starting to question her value to the organization. We should have brought in the Australian. Australian? This place is looking familiar. Oh, what do you know? Harm headquarters was underneath the uh, Japan compound this whole time. I thought I might run into you. I knew I would run into you. What do you say we pretend we didn't see each other? I can't. <sighs> okay, here we go. One last battle with the ninjas. Ooh, Sam left me a package. Oh, they're just, uh, ammo. I guess that's okay. This is the old fashioned way. Oh, damn it. Can I go in here? Yes, I can. Oh, nice. Not that, not that. You can't escape. Mm. Come back here. Ow. Pay for that. Ah. All right, where are you? Are you at the back of the house? No, there you are. here. Uh, 
All right, let's finish this. Gotcha. I was wrong to have spared your life all those years ago. You've been nothing but a disappointment. Sayonara. So much for your taste in employers. He was like a father. You're better off as an orphan. I am in your debt. Then will you please stop trying to kill me? What's wrong? Nothing is wrong. Well, I'm late to a war. Sayonara. <laughs> Still going. We don't have to deal with Asako anymore. <laughs> <laughs> 